This is Good Morning San Diego. We are here with Jose and Tommy. Jose, his family owns a tequila factory down in Mexico, and Tommy's with Pacifica Del Mar, and he's the chef, and what we're talking about is putting together tequila and food, and uh, good morning to both of you. Good morning. How are you? All right, you? let's start with you, Jose. Um, you know, you were talking earlier, you know, we normally associate wine and food, you know, you can do a lot of matching like this. Being a connoisseur myself, I'm familiar with the matching of tequila. Oh, wonderful. Tell us about it. Well, it's a family a distillery, very luxury tequila. And what we're trying to uh, show today is different uh, ways to uh, make tequila yeah. or to, to uh, mix tequila food. and pair it with food. Right. Now, let's take a look at the bottles themselves for a second here because this is your company. Yes. And tell the folks at home how long it's been in your family. It's been over 200 years. So 200 we years. started uh, late 1700s, 1776. Well, the year of independence for America. <laughs> a good year to start. And, and tequila specifically, as we were talking, like champagne is from champagne and certain cognacs. and. You, the real tequila is only from this particular region. Yes, we have a denomination of origin, just mm -hmm. like champagne and cognac, so mm -hmm. it can only be made in this specific region. And only made with blue agave. And only made, there's about 300 different types, and only one can be uh, used for, for producing tequila. The Beautiful, blue, now okay. we got the silver, mm -hmm. and the anejo, yeah? The reposado. The reposado, and, and then the, the anejo. anejo. Uh -huh. so, yeah, so those are the three varieties, the three main varieties. Mm -hmm. Tommy is here with us this morning from Pacifica Del Mar, and we're talking about the food. And so how would you do this? Well, we're going to start off today and how I would do it. We're going to start off with the crab cake benedict Ooh. with some iron skillet potatoes. Mm. And then we're going to Now that's the way to make a crab cake benedict. That's right nice, there, huh? baby. I had one the other day. I told you I was really disappointed. But in any event, and then you got your little fingerling potatoes. The mouth's watering a little bit. Oh, it is. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it we really is. We have an ahi sandwich here with some yam chips and a little cucumber salad. And over here, we have a goat cheese salad with some roasted local beets and an acai vinaigrette. Mm. And so how, you, how would you pair these through? I mean, would you just drink it straight? Or would you drink a margarita? What would you do? Well, basically, uh, we're pairing this is a paloma. Mm -hmm. So the citrus it goes really nice with the crab cake and the pepperness. Uh, we're doing an organic margarita, or tequila's organic, so we're doing an organic margarita, really nice with the Is that tuna. what this one is here? Yes, it is. And the uh, last one, we're doing a tequila, uh, the arañejo, straight, uh, neat, mm -hmm. on ice, uh, which goes really nice, the sweetness with the uh, uh, beets. So that'll pair really, really nice with, with, the, with the beets. Well, I'm telling you, this is a really beautiful looking Jeez. table right here, Tommy, <laughs> from Pacifica Del Mar. Thank you. And Jose with... Uh, of course, I love the name of this stuff, too, as well. Casa Noble. Casa Noble. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, we're going to take a little break here. We will be right back. And uh, gosh, what's going to happen during that break, I wonder? Uh, 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 <laughs> we have something here. Oh.